in the future. Peppa is at Susie Sheep's house this evening. Mummy Sheep and Mummy Pig are going out. Don't worry, Mummy. We can look after the house while you're away. That's very kind of you, Susie. But we have a special babysitter coming. That'll be her now. <coughs> Hello, everyone. Hello. It's my cousin, Charlotte. Charlotte Sheep <laughs> is the babysitter. Hello, Charlotte. Thanks for coming. We won't be out late. You can watch TV and I've made you some pizza. Oh, thank you. You two be good. We will. Bye. Bye-bye. How old are you, Charlotte? I'm 17. 17? That's very grown up. You can do anything you like when you're grown up. That's right. You can drive a car and even stay up late. Wow! In the future, when you're grown up, you'll be able to do that too. Ooh! But grown ups also have to go to work, you know. That sounds fun. Can we stay up late with you, Charlotte? Sorry, it's your bedtime now. Oh. <laughs> night, night. Sleep well. Night, night. night. Oh. Susie. Yes? Are you awake? Yes. <coughs> I wish I was grown up. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> When we're grown up, we will be downstairs watching TV and eating pizza. Yes. And babysitting. And going to the cinema and staying up all night. <laughs> <laughs> In the future, we will have a yellow car. No, blue. Yellow and blue. <laughs> I'll drive. So will I. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy Dog will be a spaceman. Yes! I'm off to space! <laughs> and George will be a dinosaur. Dinosaur! Grrr! <laughs> and Freddy Fox will be a policeman. Hello, hello, hello! What's all this here, then? This is our grown-up car. Can you beep your horn for me, please? <laughs> Very good. Off you go, then. Bye! Bye! What will your job be? I will be a nurse. But in my lunch break, I will fly a plane. Good afternoon, everybody. We are now flying all around the world. <laughs> <laughs> What will your job be, Peppa? My job will be doing important work on my computer. <laughs> <laughs> we will live in a big house with fountains. And a swing. <laughs> <laughs> and I will marry Pedro. Or Danny. And I'll do that too. <laughs> <laughs> and we will live with all our friends. Hello! And all our children will be there. <laughs> <laughs> but who will look after all these children? We will. Bedtime, everybody! Time for your tea! No football in the house! Phew! Phew! Mummy Pig and Mummy Sheep have arrived back home. Hello. Has everything been OK? Yes, everything's been fine. Hello. Are you two still awake? Yes, Mummy. We've been thinking about the future. <coughs> it's very tiring being grown up. Yes, it is. <sighs> we need to get some rest. Yes, you do. Good night, little ones. Good night, grown-ups. Pepper and Susie need a good night's rest to be ready for the future. Scooters! <laughs> it is a lovely sunny day. Pepper and George are playing on their scooters. Whee! <laughs> vroom, vroom. <laughs> oh. George is still learning how to scooter. He is a bit worried. <laughs> George, come on! 
What's the matter, George? <laughs> Shall I teach you how to scooter? <laughs> OK, you hold on to the handlebars like this with both hands. Now stand on the scooter. Oh. No, George. Stand on the scooter with one foot. Good. <laughs> now push off with the other foot. Like this. Whee! <laughs> Whee! <laughs> George, you're doing it. <laughs> George has learned to scooter. <laughs> Pepper, George. That's enough scootering for now. It's time to go to playgroup. Oh, we've only just started scootering. <laughs> Can we ride our scooters to playgroup, Daddy? Good idea. We could do with the exercise. Hooray! Ready, steady, go! Whee! Wait for me. See you later, Mummy Pig. See you later. <laughs> Pepper and George are riding their scooters to playgroup. <laughs> Not so fast! <laughs> Come on, Daddy! Daddy can't keep up! <laughs> Wait for me! Pepper and George have arrived at Playgroup. Bye-bye, <laughs> Daddy! Bye-bye! Bye! Oh, now I'm going to have to walk back home. What I need are some wheels. Hang on, I've got wheels. Whee! Ha ha, this is fun. <laughs> Daddy Pig likes scootering. Brum, brum. Whee! <laughs> Daddy Pig, you're riding Pepper's scooter. Yes, scootering is such fun. You should try it sometime. <laughs> Pepper and George are painting pictures at Playgroup. Madam Gazelle, we came to school on our scooters today. <laughs> Very good, Pepper and George. Let's all paint pictures of how we came to school today. <laughs> I came on my bicycle. <laughs> Very good. I walked here. So nice to get the fresh air in your lungs. My granddad brought me in his truck. Broom, broom, broom. Uh -huh. Lovely. It is time for Mummy and Daddy Pig to pick up the children from playgroup. Have you got the car keys, Daddy Pig? I don't think we should take the car, Mummy Pig. But it's a long way to walk to playgroup. We don't have to walk. I made that mistake this morning. We can scooter. <laughs> Race you! Whee! What? Are you sure? Uh, OK. Whee! Whee! Mummy and Daddy Pig are scootering to playgroup to pick up Pepper and George. <laughs> Yippee! <laughs> <laughs> that was great. I told you we wouldn't have to walk. Mummy! Daddy! You brought our scooters! <laughs> Hooray! Whee! Whee! Ah, uh, yes. That seems to leave us without scooters for the journey home. Daddy Pig, you said we wouldn't have to walk. We won't have to walk, but we will have to run. Race you! Hey, wait for me! Whee! <laughs> this is fun! Peppa! George! Oh, wait for Mummy and Daddy! <laughs> Peppa and George love scootering. Everybody loves scootering. <laughs> Peppa and her playgroup are visiting the zoo for the day. Children, are you ready to see all kinds of animals? Yes, yes Madam Gazelle. Today, we will be meeting wild animals. Ooh. But don't worry, the wild animals will be safely behind fences. <laughs> ah, a lion has escaped! Hello, I'm Mr. Lion. Welcome to the zoo. It is Mr. Lion, the zookeeper. Hello, Mr. Lion. You've picked a good time to visit. It's feeding time. Ooh. This way to the animals. <laughs> 
Here are the tortoises. Ooh! We keep this gate shut so they don't run away. They don't look like they could ever run. No, they're moving very slowly. Yes, that's why they live to be so old. How long do they live? Tortoises can live a hundred years. Wow! Now, feeding time. Who knows what tortoises like to eat? Uh... Tortoises like to eat vegetables. That's right. That's why we feed them lettuce. Mr Lion is feeding the tortoises lettuce. But of course, children, not all animals eat vegetables. That's right, Mrs Wildebeest. My name is Madame Gazelle. Sorry, Gazelle, Wildebeest. For some reason, I always get those two mixed up. <laughs> Mr Lion, what animal will we see next? I'll give you a clue. It lives in water. Is it a whale or a shark? <laughs> Wait and see. <laughs> Look carefully into the water. I can't see anything. There's nothing in there. Wait, I think I see something. Ah! Crocodile! Hello, I'm Mrs Crocodile. I'm the keeper in charge of the penguins. Ah, oh, penguins! Adorable, aren't they? And now it's their feeding time. Penguins eat fish. Ooh. Penguins are very good at catching. And waddling. <laughs> <laughs> and they like to swim. If you look through the glass wall, you can see the penguins swimming underwater. Wow! They're really good at swimming. Yes, that's why we have this fancy pool for them. Very interesting. Thank you, Mrs Crocodile and Mr Lion. It's our pleasure, Mrs Wildebeest. Gazelle. Of course, yes, Gazelle. <laughs> <laughs> what animal are we meeting next? I can see it. It's very tall. It's a giraffe. Yes, that's my dad. He's a keeper at the zoo. Hello. I'm Mr Giraffe. Hello, Mr Giraffe. What sort of animal are you looking after? See if you can guess. <laughs> Look up there. There's a net. It must be a flying wild animal. It must be hiding, watching us, waiting to pounce. <laughs> Ooh, butterflies. Mr Giraffe looks after the butterflies. Is it the butterflies' feeding time? Yes, and the butterflies get all the food they need from these flowers. It is amazing they can live on just the food from flowers. I wish I could get by just eating flowers. Yes. All this talk of eating has made me quite hungry. Me too. Well, it's our feeding time now. What's for lunch today, Mr Lion? Oh, lunch boxes for everyone. Sandwiches, fruit juice and an apple. Little picnics in boxes. Tuck in, everyone. Hooray! <laughs> Mr Lion loves feeding time at the zoo. Everyone loves feeding time at the zoo. Caves. Today, Pepper and her family are visiting the caves. Molly Mole is visiting the caves too. Hello, Molly. The caves sound exciting, don't they? Yes, I'm looking forward to the Ride of Doom. Uh, Ride of Doom? What's that? I don't know, but it sounds good. <laughs> Hello, here is Mr Rabbit. I'm your tour guide. Please put on these safety hard hats. Will the caves be dangerous? Not at all. Follow me for a completely safe tour. Good. All that talk of the Ride of Doom had me worried for a moment. I'm your tour guide. Oh. Here is Grampy Rabbit. Let's go on a wild, mad adventure. Oh, should we put on these safety hats? Why not? <laughs> Does anyone have a problem with going deep underground? Um... I'm not too keen on small dark spaces. Uh, like a cave, you mean? And I'm not so good with heights. I see. Anything else I should know? George and I like exciting places. Brilliant! These caves are ridiculously exciting. Please follow me. <laughs> These steps take us down into the caves. Ooh. 
This is fun! Yes, it actually is quite fun. It's good not to know exactly how deep we are. We're a hundred meters down now. Imagine, if you will, the tons and tons of rock just sitting above our heads. Great. Welcome to the caves. Ooh. It's so pretty and sparkly. Amazing. Look, there's a little boat. On the board. <laughs> you know what? Because this cave is so huge and beautiful, I feel fine about being down here. Now we go through this little tunnel. Ooh. It can get a bit squeezy. Breathe in. <gasps> <gasps> Everyone out of the boat. I can't say I enjoyed that. Don't worry, we won't go through any more tunnels. Good. We just have to cross this chasm. Whoa, that looks like quite a drop. Yes, it's wonderfully deep. I'll show you. See how long it takes this rock to hit the bottom. Wow. So, how do we get across? Did you hear anything about a ride of doom? Molly Mull said the ride of doom was the best bit. Uh, what exactly is this ride of doom? Nothing to be alarmed by. It's a zip wire ride over this chasm and down to the deepest part of the caves. Oh, goody. <laughs> it's really fun and, of course, completely safe. Wow! Uh, I'm not very good with heights. Is there another way to... Uh... See you on the other side! Ah! Wait for me! Ah, 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 ah. If that isn't the craziest fun in the world, I don't know what is. <laughs> it was brilliant! Did you enjoy it, Daddy? Uh, yes. Here, at the deepest point of the caves, our tour comes to an end. Any questions? Uh, how do we get out? Oh, a good question. We take the lift. Here we are, back on the surface again. Ah, <sighs> daylight. Welcome to the gift shop. Look, there's a picture of us on the Ride of Doom. <laughs> Daddy, you look funny. That will help you remember the Ride of Doom forever. Thank you very much. <laughs> Pepper loves caves. Everyone loves caves. <laughs> Playgroup star. Pepper and her friends are at Playgroup. <laughs> there, finished. Pepper, what a wonderful picture you have painted. It is me and George and my mummy and daddy at our house. But where are you all? I can only see a house. We are all inside the house. Of course. It really is a wonderful picture. Here is a Playgroup star. <laughs> Wow! Thank you, Madam Gazelle. It is home time and the parents have come to collect the children. Mummy! Daddy, look! I've got a playgroup star! That's fantastic, Pepper. I remember Madam Gazelle gave me a playgroup star when I was a little piggy. A long time ago, when Mummy and Daddy Pig were little, Madam Gazelle was their teacher. <laughs> Here is a playgroup star. <laughs> I was so happy. Did you get lots of playgroup stars, Mummy? Oh, yes. <sniffs> Daddy, did you get lots of playgroup stars too? Uh, it was such a long time ago. I really can't remember. No, I'm pretty sure you didn't get one, did you? <gasps> you never got a playgroup star, Daddy! No. I never did get a playgroup star. Not even a little one? No. Anyway, like Daddy Pig said, it was a long time ago, Pepper, And they're really not that important. What do you mean, Mummy? They are very important, aren't they, Daddy? Uh, yes, Pepper. 
Are you sad that you never got a playgroup star, Daddy? Well, I have done other things in my life to be proud of, you know. Maybe if you do a good drawing and show Madame Gazelle, she will give you one now. Playgroup stars are for children, Pepper, not for grown-ups. There, the roof is all fixed. Thank you, Mr. Bull. That really is wonderful work. Have a playgroup star. Oh, thank you very much. Look, Daddy, Mr. Bull's got a star and he's a grown-up. Hmm. It is evening time. Pepper and George are going to bed. Are you still sad because you never got a playgroup star, Daddy? You know what, Pepper? The more I think about it, the more I think I should have got a playgroup star. Why? Because I love to make things. And I was always drawing in class. What was your best drawing, Daddy? Would you like to see it? I think I've still got it somewhere. I'm sure I put it in the loft. Ah, here's my old school bag. And here is my picture. Wow, it's a dragon. Grrr. It's very good, Daddy. <laughs> yes, I was quite pleased with it. But it didn't get a star. Nope. Hmm, that's sad. It is the next day. Pepper and George are going to playgroup. <laughs> Look at this, Susie. <sniffs> it's not fair, Pepper. You're too good at drawing. It's not my drawing. It's my daddy's. Oh, not so good for a grown-up. He drew it a long time ago when he was little. Ah. Pepper, have you done another wonderful drawing? No, Madame Gazelle. This is my daddy's drawing. Ah, yes. I remember your daddy did like to draw. But you never gave him a playgroup star. I must have given him one for this. No, you didn't. Daddy Pig, you deserve a playgroup star. Oh, oh, I've never been so proud. Daddy Pig is a playgroup star. Hooray for Daddy Pig! <laughs> <laughs> Tiny Land. Mummy and Daddy Pig are taking Pepper, George, and Susie Sheep to visit Tiny Land. Daddy, what is Tiny Land? It's a world just like the real world, Pepper, but very tiny. It will be fun and educational. Is it real, with real tiny people living in it? No, it's just pretend. If everything there is tiny and small, then we will be giants. And we will go, hello, little people. <coughs> and they will go, ah, giants. <laughs> I can't wait to get there. Stop! What's the problem, Mr Bull? There's no problem, Mummy Pig. We're just digging up the road. Will it take long? It will take as long as it takes. <gasps> but we're going to Tiny Land today. Oh, I love Tiny Land. Everything's so tiny. <gasps> and educational. That's important. Through you go. Thank you, Mr Bull. Thank you. Stop! What, you let them through? They are going to Tiny Land. That's important. Welcome to Tiny Land, where everything is really tiny. And educational. Feast your eyes on the world of famous places. Wow! These are exact copies of real famous buildings, but a bit smaller. Ooh! Here's Big Ben, and next to it, the Eiffel Tower just like it is in the real world. And the pyramids, Sydney Opera House, Statue of Liberty and the Kremlin. But these famous buildings aren't all on the same street in real life. Aren't they? Well, you learn something new every day. Oh, look at that! This is the land of water. Oh, there are tiny little boats. And there's even a tiny Miss Rabbit. Boats! Boats! Get your boats here! 
<laughs> yes, that is just one of my many jobs. This looks just like Pirate Island. And there are some pirates. Ha -ha! Ha -ha! <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Dinosaur. This is the land of dinosaurs. Wow! This is how the world looked a long time ago, before houses and cars and stuff. Ah! Here is a Tyrannosaurus Rex. Ah! Ooh! And over there is a Triceratops. <laughs> One is a herbivore and the other is a carnivore. Oh, look! They are playing together, just as they would have done. Amazing! This is exactly as it would have been all those millions of years ago. Except for the train. All aboard! There you are again, Miss Rabbit, driving the train. <laughs> Where's it going now? To tiny modern land. <laughs> clickety clack, clickety clack, the train went on the track. Puff and puff, puff and puff, clickety clickety clack. <laughs> <laughs> this is like where we live, Peppa. Yes, there are houses and cars and hills and trees and trains and planes and boats. <laughs> it's a busy world. 24 hour non stop. Stop! Oh, it's broken. No, it's not. Look there. Stop! It's a tiny little Mr. Bull digging up the road. That's what happened to us on our way here. Tiny land is just like the real world, down to every tiny detail. We're digging up the road! <laughs> George's racing car! It is a lovely sunny day at Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. Pepper, George, Daddy and Grandpa are inside watching racing cars on television. Come on, car number two! It's neck and neck coming up to the finish! What a lot of noise! This is so exciting! Car number two is a must! Ah! That's better! The race was almost finished! Switch it back on! Wow! That was an exciting end to a race! I'm so glad I didn't miss the finish! See, it's finished. It's such a lovely day! You should all go outside and play. Yes, Granny Pig. <laughs> so, what are we going to play? George wants to play racing cars. I know. Let's build George a racing car. <laughs> Can you really make a racing car, Daddy? No, but Grandpa Pig can. What? Uh, OK. I'll make a racing car for George. <laughs> this is Grandpa Pig's shed, where he makes things. What have we got here? Ah, an old pram. No, George isn't a baby, Grandpa. We only need the pram's wheels, Peppa. Ooh. This bit can be the bonnet. And this can be the seats. What's your favourite number, George? George's favourite number is two. Oh, this racing car will be super fast. Hooray! Don't make it go too fast, Grandpa. George is only little. Don't worry, Peppa. This will be a pedal car, not a motor car. Ah! Next, we need a steering wheel. Last of all, you need racing goggles and a hat. <laughs> it's George's racing car! <laughs> Here are Danny Dog, Zoe Zebra and Pedro Pony. Hello, everyone. Look at George's racing car. Wow! I'll race you. And me. And me. I want to race too. Where's your racing car, Peppa? I don't have a racing car. Don't worry, Peppa. You can be the chief mechanic. What does that do? 
You fix George's car if it goes wrong. Oh, goody. <laughs> I hope it goes wrong a lot. <laughs> Let's start the race. Three times round the garden. Ready? <laughs> Steady? <laughs> go! Yeah. And they're off. Yeah. Come, Come on, George! George. Yeah. That's the end of lap yeah. one and George is yeah. in the lead. What's all this noise out here? I'm trying to watch television. We're having a race, Granny. Yeah. That's the end of lap two, and George is still in the lead. <laughs> oh, dear. A wheel has come off George's car. Where's the chief mechanic? Here I am. What do we do? Put the wheel back on. OK, okay chief mechanic. mechanic. Yeah. Oh, dear. George is now at the back of the race. Pedal faster, George! Come on, George! Come on, George! George is the winner! Hooray! Well done, George! You're the best racing driver in the whole world! <laughs> and you've got the best chief mechanic in the whole world, too. Yes, that's me. <laughs> <laughs>